Today in our 2005 Dodge Ram 3500, we're going to be doing an installation of the Easy Connector Magnetic T Connector with 7-way trailer connector, part number 319-R7-06D. Upgrade your Ram to work with the Magnetic Easy Connector 7-ways. This is going to allow you to have a standard 7-way connection on a trailer that has a Magnetic Easy Connector. It's a face-to-face -face connection. There are no pins or blades to break or bend. The magnetic connection is strong enough to hold in place, but it's easy to disconnect when needed. It's going to allow you to maintain the factory 7-way connection on your RAM so you can still tow trailers with standard 7-way connectors. When not in use, the double O-ring dummy plug is going to prevent moisture, dirt, and debris from getting inside. To begin our installation, we'll need to start with the Easy Connector mounting bracket. We need to locate a good spot underneath around where our hitch receiver is to mount it. As you can see, there's not really a good spot to mount it, and I don't want to drill into my bumper. That's no problem. I'm going to use the short no-drill mounting bracket, part number 18140. It's going to allow us to mount our Easy Connector without having to drill into our ramp. So what I'm going to do now is some pre-assembly. I'm going to take my Easy Connector mounting bracket, and I'm going to take my short bracket, and I'm going to line up between my two holes, and then mark it out. and then I'm gonna drill them out. Once that's drilled out, we'll take that short bracket, we'll line up the holes, then we'll take the hardware that came with our short bracket, put that through, follow it up with a nut on the other side, and then I'm gonna tighten that down. Now to get it to fit with our hitch, we're gonna give the short bracket a slight bend. So I've got it in my vise here. I'm gonna start getting it where I want. I'd say that's pretty good. Let's check it out. Now back at our RAM, we can attach it to our hitch right there with the included clamp. So we're gonna feed it up through the opening of the short bracket, up over our hitch. Once I get it halfway started, I can then tighten it down with a 5 16 socket or wrench or you can even use a flat blade screwdriver. With our bracket mounted, we can now bring in our wiring and feed it through our mount. Now we'll take our included hardware and mount our wiring. Cool. Now underneath, we'll need to disconnect our factory wiring. It's gonna be located right here. Now on top, there's gonna to be a red tab. We need to push that out. You can then locate the tab here at the rear. What we wanna do is we wanna push down, so squeeze, and then pull outward. Now if it seems like it's kinda of locked in, it can definitely help to push towards the connection and then out. That can help free it up. Also, shaking it back and forth can help as well. Since it's disconnected, I can now show you the top. So here's the red tab. You pull it out slightly, and then you push down on the black tab, and then pull outward, and you should have it. Now we're ready to bring in our connections. When making electric connections, it can be helpful to use dielectric grease. This can prevent moisture from getting inside your connections, keeping out rust and corrosion. You can pick some up here at eTrailer.com with part number 11755. Now let's make our connections. So we'll take our factory connection that we disconnected. We want to make sure that the red tab is pulled outward. Then we'll take our easy connector, push it all the way in. Once we've ensured that it's all the way in, we can go ahead and replace our red tab. Then we can pull outward to make sure it's connected. I'd say we're good. The other end is going to connect to our factory seven way. We'll need to make sure that the red tab here is pulled out. If you happen to pull it out all the way, no big deal. Just lightly push it back in place to where it's in that position there. Then we'll feed it up over and into our connection. Push it all the way in place and then push in your red tab. Now it's important to check your connection here and make sure it's connected. Now we'll just clean up our excess wiring 
and I'm going to zip tie it to my hitch to keep it all together. Now we're here at our trailer with our Easy Connector magnetic end on it. Let's go ahead and try it out. Here we have our left turn signal, our right turn signal, our running lights, and brake lights. And that's going to complete our installation of the Easy Connector magnetic T connector with seven way trailer connector, part number 319 R7 06D on our 2005. Dodge Ram 35. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.